<laughs> Good to see you today and welcome to Veterans Medals Workshop because we have a really interesting show. We're very proud today to be the first ones to show you this new book. There's been a lot of requests for it, The Medals, Badges, and Insignia of the U.S. Army in Vietnam. And it's really unique. It covers every branch insignia, every badge, every identification badge, every shoulder sleeve insignia, most of the crests, and even all of the ribbons and medals that were awarded during the Vietnam War, to include those issued by the Republic of Vietnam. <laughs> you won't find this anywhere except on the Medals of America Press website and on Amazon. So let me walk you through it. I think you're really going to enjoy it because, well, where else can you find this much detail on every major unit that served in Vietnam? So come on, let me walk you through the medals, badges, and insignia of the U.S. Army in Vietnam. Your book covers all of the medals, badges, and insignia from when the first American advisors arrived in Vietnam till the last departed book opens up with an introduction that summarizes the Vietnam conflict and some very interesting analysis by the late Colonel Harry Sumners, uh, which originally came out in Vietnam Magazine. Then goes into a clear explanation and introduction to officer and enlisted branch insignia with an overview at the very opening. It then presents all of the branches of the Army during the Vietnam War in alphabetical order, telling their mission, what the branch insignia is, and its colors and the meaning and its birthday. And for example, here it explains the difference between the armor branch and the cavalry. It covers all of the combat arms, all of the combat support, and all of the combat service support to include, like here in the medical department, every variation of a medical insignia. And like in the case of the infantry branch, it also covers a special insignia of the infantry, like the infantry blue shoulder cord. And many Vietnam veterans, and especially Vietnam veteran warrant officers, may not know that the warrant officer branch became obsolete in July of 2004. Next section covers rank insignia, combat, skill, and identification badges during the Vietnam War. And there is a unique chart that shows all of the United States Army enlisted rank during the Vietnam War, basically going back to 1959 and coming up into the 1970s. And there's a description for what each rank is responsible for. After the enlisted rank section, there is a rank section on warrant officers and officers, and then it opens on to hat badges, buttons, and lapel pins issued during that period. The U.S. Army badge and tab section opens with the combat infantry badge group, and it makes a description of each badge, its symbolism, the award eligibility, the date it was approved, and variations such as the subdued badges and miniature badges. And it shows all of the award variations. You can see it does the same for the combat medical badge. Here's several other examples. This one shows the Army aviation badges for Army aviator, senior Army aviator, and master aviator. To include the ones for flight surgeons and the aircraft crew member badges. Other examples shown here are the driver and mechanic badges, the parachute rigger badge, the air assault and air mobile badge that was used for a while became obsolete, then the parachute badges and the combat parachute badges. I'm going to show all the badge pages, but the badge pages wind up with the badges for marksmanship showing the expert, sharpshooter, marksman, and all of the various weapon qualification bars, as well as the overseas service bars, service stripes, and again, don't forget about the infantry blue cord. The next section introduces Army shoulder sleeve insignia and unit crest with the Military Assistance Advisory Group Vietnam and MACV, and then moves directly, well, some examples here are 1st Field Force Vietnam and 2nd Field Force Vietnam and the Capital Military Assistance Command. And then the shoulder sleeve insignia of all the major units. Well, for example, like the 1st Cav Division, the 1st Team tells when it landed in the Republic of Vietnam and when it left and the locations that it was in, like Pleiku, Binh Dinh, so on. 
And additionally, it shows a number of crests for both the Cav regiments and field artillery regiments. Tenures with spreads on all the major units, like the 1st Infantry Division, the Big Red One, which landed in October of 1965. And it shows its different infantry regiments, its artillery regiments, and some of the aviation regiments and Cav squadrons. Next up, of course, would be the 4th Infantry Division, the Ivy Division of the Iron Horse Division, which arrived in September 1966, and it shows the shoulder sleeve insignia, the symbolism of it, and the distinctive unit insignia, along with a number of the regiments and, well, the variations on the 4th Infantry patch going back to World War I. Jumping ahead, the 9th Infantry Division, the old reliable shoulder sleeve insignia with its symbolism and background and distinctive unit insignias, as well as the famous 9th Infantry Division, Riverine Force. Skipping ahead, some of the other famous brigades are the 173rd Brigade, the Sky Soldiers that arrived in 65 and stayed till 71, and the 196th Infantry Brigade, the Chargers, which came in 66 and stayed until 72. Suffice to say, all the major units of the combat arms and combat support and combat service support are shown in the book. This section covers all of the medals, ribbons, and attachments issued or awarded during the Vietnam War. It begins with a detailed Army ribbon and device chart that goes back to World War II since, well, there were Vietnam veterans who served in both World War II and Korea. There's also a detailed ribbon chart that goes from 1941 up to today for all of those veterans who continue to serve and a list of all the unit awards <laughs> and a list of those awards that are not authorized on the Army uniform. A nice little section on how all of the attachments are placed on the various ribbons or medals. An explanation of the United States Army Pyramid of Honor. An overview of all United States military medals since World War II. There's a complete description of all the United States Army military medals, beginning with the Medal of Honor, and then descriptions and the criteria and the devices of every United States Army medal, beginning with the highest decorations through all of the campaign and service medals, are shown. This is an interesting footnote that in Vietnam, many of the Purple Hearts awarded were originally made for the invasion of Japan in 1945. Awards like the Air Medal, where devices were changed during the Vietnam War, the samples are carefully laid out. In to the decorations and service medals, unit citations are also described. And if you've never really understood the various attachments that go on the Good Conduct Medal, well, this is your opportunity. It's laid out in detail. Campaign medals like the Vietnam Service Medal are fully described with all of their attachments, and every one of the campaigns is listed with the dates. All six reverses of the Armed Forces Reserve Medal medallion are shown, so you don't get that confused, along with the M device and the number of times mobilized. And over on the right shows the military ribbons of the Republic of Vietnam. And there's more detail on the more commonly awarded decorations of the Republic of Vietnam. There's a section on United States commemorative medals and a chart showing the eight most important United States military commemorative medals from Vietnam. Then there's a comprehensive section on the issue of United States Army medals to veterans, retirees, and their families, as well as examples of the DD-214 discharge with several examples of how the decorations and campaign medals were listed on the DD-214 to include examples of the common abbreviations. A really interesting display using a soldier from the AmeriCal Division shows the different medals that every soldier would have been awarded during different periods of his service in Vietnam. There's also a section of award displays that show you how different Vietnam veterans have mounted their military awards. <laughs> you won't find this anywhere except on the Medal of America Press website and on Amazon.